Hey everybody, it's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I uh, got new updates for the tropics, and I want you to know that we do not have problems. Uh, you will find that people will say that tropics is heating up, or things are getting bad, or hurricanes coming. I'll show you why they're saying that, but there is nothing to worry about, because as of the 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock Central Time update, it shows that Tropical Storm Gamma is at 50 miles an hour, moving north at 4 miles an hour. And then when you have the disturbance over here, it's going to be uh, 92L. It's going to be Tropical Depression uh, Delta. At most, it might be a Tropical Storm Delta just for a day, but it's going to go right back down to nothing. I will show you that. Now, as of 8 o'clock, the Tropical Wave accompanied by, a low, accompanied by a low pressure system, remember that, is located over the central Caribbean Sea, a couple hundred miles southeast of Jamaica. The associated shower and thunderstorm activity is beginning to show some signs of organization. Environmental conditions are expected to be conducive for additional development, and a tropical depression is likely to form within the next day or two. The system should move west to northwestward at 10 to 15 miles an hour across the central and western Caribbean Sea today through Tuesday. Then move into the southern and southeastern Gulf of Mexico on Tuesday night and Wednesday. Locally heavy rain and gusty winds will be possible across portions of Hispaniola, Jamaica, Cuba, and the Cayman Islands during the next few days. Now these other two that people's thinking, oh, they're going to go to the East Coast, they're going to do something, they're not going to do anything. Uh, matter of fact, even Noah, as of the 8 o'clock update, said it just disorganized showers and thunderstorms continue in association with a tropical wave located over the central tropical Atlantic. This system has not become any better organized, and any development during the next day or so should be slow to occur, to occur while it moves west northwestward or northwestward at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Significant development is not expected, guys, beyond this time due to a system moving into the region of strong upper level winds. And same thing for this one. An area of, of disorganized showers and thunderstorms over the central Atlantic about 1,000 miles east-southeast of Bermuda is associated with a surface trough of low pressure. Now, that's what's going to tear it apart. This system is expected to move towards the west-southwest at around 10 miles an hour. Some slow development is possible during the next couple of days before it, too, encounters strong upper-level winds. These two are going to disappear, guys. Do not worry about it. Don't let people hype you up about this system, please. And this is what you got from Tropical Storm Gamma. This is what the, the Tropical Storm Force Winds probabilities are. It's curving. It's dying out. It's not going to do anything. Now, let me go through the models that I have for you before I show you on WSV3 exactly what we have to worry about. And in fact, let me show you real quick what, what you have. Now, I'm, now, this right here is the, you see right here, it's 850 millibar winds. It's 3,200 feet to 5,000. Uh, that's the next level up from the 10 meter run. And I'm going to show you the max power that you get out, out of anything. Now this is tropical, I'm sorry, here's hurricane force winds right here coming out of gamma, but this is 3200. This is not sustained uh, winds at the 10 meter level. I'll show you that. It, it weakens immediately, then it goes westward. Now if you watch here, you'll see Delta come on over. It's gonna be a problem for Cuba. It's gonna be a lot of rain. It's gonna be some winds, but this is still 3200 meters. You gotta remember this. Now as gamma goes away and dies, Delta moves in, and it don't get too strong at all. It has one period right here where it pops up. And at 3,200 feet, it, it gets up to 50 miles an hour winds. And I'll show you what you're going to get next on damaging. But that's it. It soaks up. It goes into land. It's not going to be no hurricane, guys. I know people are hyping this up to be a hurricane. Don't let them do that to you. Now, this is a 10-meter uh, winds. This is 10 meters above sea level. This is a damaging winds. Now, let me show you exactly what you got. This is Tropical Storm Gamma, and what you see in that red is just 40s to 50s uh, miles per hour winds. Now, this is sustained winds. This is the one that actually makes a name for the storm when it becomes anything. And there is the strongest that it gets before it dies down, and it'll get up to 50s today, and that is, a, that is about it. I apologize. That is tomorrow at 3 p.m. The time and date is on the top left. Then, you, then here it goes on the 5th. Then on the 6th, it starts moving westward, starts dying out, and Delta starts moving his way in. Still a weak storm. It's not doing anything major yet. Now, it's likely to become a tropical depression to maybe a tropical storm right by Louisiana. And this is on the 8th at 6 p.m. 
and it's right on the edge. It's right at 30, 38, 39 miles an hour to be a tropical storm, uh, but it will be a tropical depression is what it looks like. I'm still only picking up 37, 38. If I try real hard, I might get a 39 out of this thing, but I'm not showing that this is going to be a problem for anybody. It's going to be a tropical depression at most. If it gets any more power, just a little bit more power, it could be a tropical storm, but it would be a weak one. And as it impacts, it will be gone. Now, let me show you what's on these models. Now, I took you to GFS, and I took you all the way to the 8th, right before Delta forms, so you can see exactly what comes out of this storm. Because as you can see, now this is the, this is the GFS model. Now, as you can see, it, it produces a little bit on the 9th, like I showed just now on WSV3. And this is low. This is 1,003 uh, millibars. It is not a big pressure system. And then at six hours later, it gets weaker. Six hours later, even more weaker. And then six hours, another six hours. This, this storm is doing nothing, guys. Don't let people hype you up and making you think that this is going to be a major thing. Now, if you go to cycle claim, you will see that delta at the highest, the average would be maybe... 59 knots for an average that's because all these uh the the wind models the, the highest ones is a ship and a d ship those are the highest models that's showing highest knots the rest of them has a lower average even the 30s and you can see that right here that the highest two or three has it a very high cat two or possible cat three which I'm not showing on any of these models, are going to happen. I believe these lower models. Now watch yourself today. You're going to find people make videos only on these models so they can try and hold up their intensity that this is going to be a big problem, and I'm not showing it is. Uh, now if you go to the year-old model, this is a very well-respected model. This is on the 8th. This is Delta's formation right here. Euro is showing that, that the, the wind shear, it breaks up so much that it don't even get a formation. It just, it's just going to cause severe thunderstorms and heavy rainfall for parts of the, some states that's in the Gulf of Mexico. But I'm not showing any formation, and this is according to Euro. It's just going to hang around, be thunderstorms, and be gone. And if you go to GT, GDPS, I got it to the 7th, and this is Delta right here popping up. So you can see everything that's happening, and every six hours, you can see the formation. It just hovers. This is the same shot right here that I just showed you. This is 96 hours. And this storm is doing nothing, guys. It's showing also that it is weakening as it heads. Yes, it's going to come to the Gulf. Yes, it's going to come to either Louisiana towards Florida, somewhere in that general direction. But it's always going to be either a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Just because a, a system has much room to move to the Gulf of Mexico don't mean it's going to be rapid intensification, guys. There's going to be dry air moving in. There's going to be a, a second cold front moving in. It's not going to just be a clear path. Now, if you go to the GEFS, it's another model, and you'll see that also that this storm is not predicted to be anything. GEFS is showing that it stays uh, towards the west of the Gulf of Mexico, and it's not even going to form up towards the northern Gulf of Mexico and affect uh, those states up there. So it's showing them very weak in this system. And in the very last movement, on the 10th, it tries to move north, and it dies out. So believe me, guys, I wouldn't lie to you. Everything I'm showing in these systems is that there's nothing to worry about. At most, it's going to be a tropical depression, maybe towards uh, Cuba. When it goes over Cuba, it could be a tropical depression for them as well. Um, there's not going to be any hurricanes. It's not It's not anything heating up in, in the Atlantic, guys. Even Noah said it, the other two are going to go against uh, rough winds, and they're going to die out. Nothing's coming out of this. Gamma's dying down. Delta is coming to the Gulf, but it's not showing any true uh, fear of anything. Maybe a tropical depression to a tropical storm. That's at best. I've been saying that since day one on this video weeks ago, that it might hit Tallahassee a tropical storm. That's it. Now, on another note, happy Sunday to all of you. God bless you. I hope you all are having a good day today. Uh, now, the last time we read 23, and I'm going to read Genesis 24. Oh, I'm sorry, I did it backwards. Last time we read 22, I'm going to read Genesis 23. 24 is tomorrow. And Sarah was 170 and 20 years old. And these were the years of the life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Kerjath Arba, the same as Hebron in the land of Canaan. And Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. And Abraham 
stood up from before his dead and spake unto the sons of Heth, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me a possession of a burying place with you, that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the children of Heth answered Abraham, saying unto him, Here is my Lord, thou art a mighty prince among us, and the choice of our sepulchres bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from thee his sepulchre, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. And Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of Heth. And he communed them, he communed with them, saying, If it be your mind that I should bury my dead out of my sight, hear me and entreat for me to Ephron the son of Zohar, that he may give me the cave of Mach Machpelah, which he hath, which is the is in the end of his field, for as much money as it is worth, he shall give it to he shall give it me for possession of a burying place amongst you. And Ephron dwelt among the children of Heth, and Ephron the Hittite answered Abraham in the audience of the children of Heth, even of all that went in, in at the gate of the city, saying, Nay, my Lord, hear me. The fled give I thee the sorry, the field give I thee and the cave that, that is therein, I give it thee. In the presence of the sons of my people, give I it thee, bury thy dead. And Abraham bowed down himself before the people of the land, and he spake unto Ephron in the audience of the people of the land, saying, But if thou wilt give it, I pray thee, hear me. I will give thee money for the field, take it of me, and I will bury my dead there. And Ephron answered Abraham, saying unto him, my Lord, hearken unto me. The land is worth four hundred shekels of silver. What is that betwixt me and thee? Bury therefore thy dead. And Abraham hearkened unto Ephron, and Abraham weighed to Ephron the silver, which he had named in the audience of the sons of Heth, four hundred shekels of silver, current money with a merchant. And the field of Ephron, which was in Machpelah, which was before Mamre, the field of the cave, which was therein, and all the trees that were in the field, that were in all the borders around, round about, were made sure. Unto Abraham for possession of this presence of the children of Heth, before all that went in the gate of his city. And after this, Abraham buried Sarah his wife in the cave of the field of Machpelah, before Mamre, the same as Hebron in the land of Canaan. And the field and the cave that, that is therein, were made sure unto Abraham for a possession of a burying place by the sons of Heth. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great Sunday today. Please remember, these storms so far, we're not showing anything to worry about, guys. Only two of the models are showing high intensity, and people are literally making videos just about the models. The other, the other waves in the Atlantic, even though it says there's no problems with those, don't let people hype you all up. There's not going to be no problems with this. At best, a low-end, 40 miles per hour tropical storm. God bless everybody. All glory does go to God. Amen.